Hey everyone, welcome to chapter number six where I am going to show you the Bugs Cube board. So let's dive right in. We have this board right here and let's have a look. So on this board, every group represents the phase in the bug life cycle. Okay, and every item here would be a bug. Um, bugs can be reported directly to the board or using a monday.com form. So let's talk about that for a second. Um, let's say somebody, our client facing teams or a sales team or support team or anywhere outside um, of our uh, development department, they don't have access to this board um, or maybe they don't have access to monday.com but we would still like them to have the capability to submit bugs. Um, this is where our incredible monday.com forms capability come into place. So it's a view that's called forms view that we've already created for you that takes the columns on your board and transfers them to be actually questions on a form. We can even have more capabilities here, like we can set mandatory questions. We can hide some of the columns if these are internal columns that we want don't want them to appear on the form. We can give description. Okay, we can even have uh, add questions that are directly on the form, and that would add questions on our uh, questions on our. Uh, uh, columns on our board. Um, we can drag and drop and change the order of the questions and that would not affect the order of the columns on our board. So we can really take this and leverage this functionality to create items using a form instead of directly on the board. And um, here is all the settings that you can explore. Um, and once you're ready to share the form, you can click here um, and you get a shareable link that you can paste in your browser and let's see what it looks like. And now anyone who has this link can use the form to submit their bug. So let's do one together. So let's create a new bug. So um, actually, let's say that the website is down. And we can add some description. Uh, we can add a picture or a video, of course, if you want, and let's click on Submit. Now let's go back to our board and see what happens. So now it's going to create a new item here on the incomings bug group. A few things have already happened, okay, on our columns, and this is using our best friends, the automations, of course. So first of all, automatically I am assigned as the reporter, um, since I'm the one that submitted the form response. Automatically the report date is set as today, and also our time tracking column, Okay, this is using a type of column called time tracking, started counting, um, and the status is automatically awaiting review. Um, so this is all using our incredible automations that you can see right here. Uh, we can see the description that I added for the website is down. And of course, we have a lot more fields on this board. So let's review them. Um, so once a bug is now submitted, we can, of course, assign the developer to work on it. Okay, um, we have the report date, time until resolution to to uh, count and see our SLA, and we can uh, use, do some insights and analytics, and I'm going to show you that very soon. Status, we have a priority, we have a description, we have the source, um, any any documents or files that have been added re regarding this bug. Uh, what's the resolution? Okay, so what was the action that has to to take place? Um, a last updated column. Okay, this is the last updated column. Uh, we have here a formula column to just round up the time until resolution. So when we see it on a graph, it looks just nicer in an hours and add an hours indication. We have here a link to the sprints that I'm going to talk about very, very soon. So um, let's say a bug is submitted um, and I am the team lead for this and now I want to assign a developer. So what I can do is I can assign a developer and now I will change the status to ready for dev. Once I change it to ready for dev, it's going to move it to the next group again using our bestie, the automations and also notify the developer um, that this bug is ready for them. They can work on it, update, maybe add some things on the update section. We can have a conversation about it. Um, and once it's been resolved, um, of course, it's also give it a priority. Once it's been resolved, um, they can say um, what was the resolution, 
and update the status to fixed and that would of course move it to the bottom group again using our automations um, another thing that's happened is the time until resolution stopped counting okay again using our automation we say that when status changes to fix then stop time until resolution and there we have our SLA okay of this bug and how much time it took to resolve it um, but what if there is a specific bug that I see here um, and I know that this is an area that I'm going to tackle on my next sprint or something that I'm planning to do in the future okay so what we can do here um, is we can change the status here to say man move to sprints what's going to happen again using our incredible automations it's going to move the bug to the bottom group of managing sprints it's going to create a task on the sprint board and using our connect boards column connect the two automatically okay and then we can have we mirror the task status here so we can see if there is a relevant task associated with this bug we have a column here um, to show us the tasks uh, status and then we'll have another automation that based on the task ta status it's going to update the bug status so once the task is done the bug will be changed to fixed okay this is to again create that seamless flow between the different departments and components so if I have a bug and I'm gonna work on it on the sprint I don't need to recreate it twice it's all being done automatically using um, our very very powerful automations um, one last thing that I want to show you on the bugs board is our incredible dashboard um, again leveraging the board views together with the different uh, analytic capabilities of money.com we've created some insights for you based on the data of course you can add different uh, widgets and different uh, graphs uh, number widget ch different charts to show other pieces of information um, but for example we have a pie chart to show bugs by priority we have another pie chart to show bugs by source we have here a table view that we've added um, that is just filtered to show only the open bugs um, and here I also have some line graphs to show how many bugs were open by month and resolution time average by month and we also added a benchmark here so there's really a lot that you can do using our different uh, dashboard and uh, and reporting capabilities again feel free to go in and explore you can go into the settings of each and every one of them to see exactly how it's defined um, if you want to explore it even further so this was the bugs cue board um, next chapter is our last chapter and we're going to talk about integrations it's going to be very interesting so i will see you there